It's an addiction. PUBG and everything else. And people complained and threw rumors left, right, and center about WhatsApp being for money, Facebook being for money. Now PUBG is mm. maybe more or less confirmed being for money. Some people are going to complain, but the but majority are going to pay. They're going to bore. It's an addiction. It's not about playing the game as much as what am I getting hormonally out of playing this game, out of wasting my life, out of wasting my time because I don't have anything else to do. This is what the company is capitalizing on. The addiction factor of people spending hours and hours and spending thousands of dollars. I was in another country a few days ago and a guy sat there, literally, no joke, true story. He was complaining about how difficult life is and how tough the financial situation of his country is. And he's complaining about how he has to commute to another city for him to get an extra $300. And then one thing led to the other, he talked about how he spent $3,000 preparing one of his game rooms for PUBG. I was like, are you listening to yourself? Are you out of your mind? He borrowed money to spend it on. <laughs> Do you get paid out of PUBG? Is is it true that you, uh, is it true that you like make an account and like you get it to a certain level and then you sell the account? For people to join this room to win the prize, they have to pay an amount of money. So the one who created the room for all these players actually gains sells a virtual room. Exactly. Nice, genius. So a dealer is selling to a dealer is selling to a dealer is selling to a dealer. Great. You know who are the highest paid people in Facebook? Psychologists. You know why? because they study your life to make sure you spend that one extra second on Facebook, along with PUBG, along with all the other games. Go to any addictive social media and or social platform and or social gaming experience. You will find technical job and you will find psychological jobs. They're analyzing your behavior for them to increase your interactivity on the site, your interactivity on the game. If you go like, no, today I'm going to read a book, they lose, you win. When you spend more time on the game, you lose, they win. There is no win-win. Hassan, I control PUBG, I control my time on Facebook, I control my time on social media. No, you don't. The system always wins. You know, I'm out of Facebook for the past five, six, seven years. The first week was hell. I do have a page to communicate with all of you. Yes, but I don't have a profile to follow all of you. Who did what? I don't do that no more. And to get out of that, it was like quitting a bad habit. You need to know what you are doing. You will never achieve complete satisfaction until you produce until you give Hassan it gives me satisfaction false satisfaction temporary pleasure momentarily joy until you produce until you make until you create until you give you will never understand the true meaning of happiness the true meaning of Zen and blissfulness. Try to create something, try to make something, try to give to somebody and see that feeling. You can have it for the rest of your life. Add to your knowledge and enjoy that because the more you add to yourself, you will be able to give later on to somebody who needs it. Don't fall in the trap of momentarily pleasures are taking hours of your day multiplied by your weeks, multiplied by your months, multiplied by your years. We said it a few vlogs ago. People who are born in the year 2000 are 19 years old today. Think about it for a second. Time flies. Invest it in the right place, invest it in yourself, invest it in your growth, invest it in your better tomorrow. How long it took you to get out of PUBG? Four months. How was it when you first got out of it? Bad. You reduced playing it? So you go to bed at 11 and you sleep at 5 playing PUBG. Now what time do you sleep? 12. So you got better sleep. And what are you doing in that extra hour? from 11 to 12. You prepare your meals for tomorrow. That's excellent time management. This is the right way. Now you're eating. Last week you weren't eating because you don't have time, but you made time. Yesterday's night is time for tomorrow's lunch. This is called time management. Stop wasting your life, man. It is brainless. You should gain control 
and I'll show you how to gain control in the workshop. We're having one at the end of the month in Zayed Sports City in Abu Dhabi, United Arab Emirates. All the details are in the description. Let me see your pretty face. Make tomorrow a better day.